lights, camera, action. Put your head on. Bahati na wema kupati. Eh? <laughs> Bona sipati bahati na wema. <laughs> Excuse me, let's all. <laughs> wait, 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 let's read the whole thing. Nika po kuisha bahati na wema haupati. <laughs> That's what the lesson says. So bahati na wema ikiisha haupati. Of course, that's common sense because haiko. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa Jo. If you are new here and don't already know this beautiful, phantom, gorgeous, God made, heaven sent face. <laughs> hope y'all are good and having, when will this, I don't know when this will go up, but hope y'all have had a good week. And I pray that y'all have an amazing, awesome week full of cheer up ahead. So... Quick chat before I wash my hair. It's wash day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My hair is going to be refreshed. I'm just feeling like uh, a baby straight out of the bath. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I've been watching, like a lot of people, um, the Daily Social Distancing Show on YouTube with Trevor Noah. Um, I think they put out episodes daily, hence the daily social distancing show. Oh my god! Wow! Um, it's, it's basically the daily show with Trevor Noah, but because of social distancing, he films it in his home and has no crew and anything. So they renamed it the daily social distancing show until this whole social distancing thing is a wrap. I've been watching it pretty consistently almost every day and one thing I noticed this week was about two-thirds of every episode is dedicated to the mockery of President Trump so <laughs> when I realized that I was just like I mean yeah he's a pretty peculiar person let's put it like that and there is a lot a lot you can make fun of when it comes to president trump but when i realized that it felt like in as much as there's so much you can make fun of when it comes to president trump it still doesn't change the fact that he is the president of the united states of america and a lot of the decisions, a lot of the lifestyles, a lot of how people live their lives in the U.S. And not just the U.S., but all over the world. All of that is basically dictated by our heads of state. You get. So in as much as your leaders are doing funny things, are doing um, things that you may not agree with, at the end of the day, you're not the president. <laughs> somebody else is unless a president is watching this right now so because you are not your president and yes you do have authority over your life you have free will and what you choose goes but you can only do so much of that you get there are some things you can't control and your leaders are the ones who have a hold on those things so the least you can do for your leaders, and as much as they are hilarious human beings doing, <sighs> honestly, the most questionable things and the most irritating things, it's nice to like throw jabs and make fun of them, but the least you can do for your leaders, not just during this season, because guys, our presidents have never <laughs> gone through a pandemic, you know? A few of them have gone through epidemics like Ebola, but like, that's just it. And one thing I have noticed, those who run countries that have experienced Ebola before are tackling this pandemic a lot better than those who have not experienced such a thing during their time in office. So as I was saying, the least you can do 
for your leaders is to put them in prayer. Talk about them with your God. Air your frustrations out to God and ask him to guide your leaders, to guide your president, to guide your governor, to guide your senator, to guide your members of parliament, guys, to guide your members of county assembly if you have such positions in your country, to guide your prime ministers, have, to guide your royal family in countries where the royal family is actually you know the body that makes decisions for the citizens of those countries because like i said at the end of the day they are still in positions of leadership and they do ultimately decide how our lives run on a daily so yeah that's literally all i wanted to come on here and say and it's just a reminder you know it's it's fun in the moment to insult your leaders on Twitter and stuff like that. People will like, people will share, people will screenshot. You'll become, you know, your your, your Twitter handle will become famous for a moment. <laughs> but like, that's, uh, that's just about it. Tomorrow, your president will decide uh, police officers are beating you. Your tweet won't be there to help you at that point. You get, so put your leaders in prayer talk to God about them, ask him to guide them appropriately, ask him to influence each and every one of their decisions because God knows best, honestly. And um, yeah, <laughs> allow him to have his will happen here on earth as it is in heaven. We will get through this, guys. Less making fun of, less insulting, more dedicating in prayer. Have a blessed one and see you in my next video. Bye.